we'll, we'll see about the timing on this engine right here. Uh, it's a Nelson Brothers. Uh, how to set the timing. So, well, what I've got wired up here, just a, just a basic low tension coil there, that's a lone oak, 12 volt battery, full charged. I wired in a series like up to here. On this igniter, the points are closed. So when I make contact with this right here to this engine, it's energizing that coil down there. In order to know when this engine sparks, I, I got I got a little LED bulb right there, ward from a contact electrode coming around to ground, positive and negative. So I'm gonna go through the sequence on how to time this engine, the relationship to the valve clerks right here, and when it sparks the igniter with the lever set on the run position, so that when you was going to start it, you would retard it backwards. You would lower that little ball in there, changing the spark timing. So, so like when I contact this right here, it's like turning the key on with those contact loads. And that light will light up when those points snaps, confirming a relationship to the keyway crankshaft position to the engine. See, we got a spark right there. We're live. So, in, in order to, to to time this engine with that big gear right there, you, you, you turn this you turn this flywheel to uh, uh, you turn it to around here to where Okay, you, you turn around here to where your crankshaft is. <clears throat> Looking across here a long ways at it, like this on the side. Across through there, the crankshaft is straight up and down. And on the back side right here, on, on that, on that, can, on that uh, timing gear, that's a pinion back here, and that's cam gear, I guess. That's what that is. So, and this is a governor setup. We're not, we're not fooling with that right now. Going through the sequence with that lever retarded and and that up on up the under on the run part and this right here just right and 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 and, and then the book says the book says that crankshaft will be one inch forward towards the engine by one inch like about right there and, and that'd be relationship with the key weight a little bit to the front some degrees okay when, when all that right there is lined up you, you come up here and, and and on your adjustment on, on this push rod you're, you're supposed to have about a sixteenth of an inch which is uh well it's pretty close uh really good it's loose and then and this is in the correct position. So supposedly what will happen is when, when you turn this flywheel in a rotation that's supposed to run towards the outer outer stroke right here, this valve is supposed to start closing. And when it reaches the bottom outer down here, it'll be fully closed. So let's do that. 
Okay, see it started, it started right there. Okay, they're right here, we we on we on, we we like it's right here on out right together, and that valve's full open right there. You know, okay, when it comes all around, a half more turn, like it's right here, that that should be fully seated. So and there is a secret when it starts to open, but um when when this uh, crankshaft throw is completed to the front indicated by the keyway of the crankshaft the relationship to the let's, let's, let's get it this is where we think it should be before we even yeah see, see we got that uh, that sixteenth again so it went through that sequence oh that's pretty good Oh yeah, airplane outside. Okay, on on the next time coming around this right here, this igniter should ignite the fuel that's being. When I turn this around right here, it's it's just sucking back this way right here, like it's right here now. Okay, see that's coming on around. Come on around right here. Okay, when 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 that crank set gets all the way around, <clears throat> the next revolution, when it gets, oh, I would like this one to light up at top at top dead center which is straight forward on this engine so let's come on around keeping an eye on the little light there okay that right there's work uh i'll have to look at the footage to see did it spark but i'm going to assume it did and looking at this right here it fired be honest about it about uh some degree before top dead center see right there indicated by the key weight and the position uh that much to be top dead center so just a matter of a couple of degrees but to do that again and come around in the full sequence and let's see if it, it if it, what where a spark is okay it sparked I'm assuming we lift something up, and it's right here where it should be. So, <clears throat> I'm going to leave it like it is. And we'll put a little fuel in there. We got I got a check valve down in there. That's a small jar right there. So, but uh, to disconnect that, yeah, we still got a... Uh, we have sparker, so we were still contacting. And we'll start this engine up in a couple of days. And, and I got a spring right in there, pulling back on that lever, on that lever right there to keep up that slack right there. And I got a spring on that, holding that lever down right there. And 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 I haven't made those springs to go up on the front right there yet, but I'm going to.
Well, okay. <clears throat> See, it, it made a couple of drops of oil. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And and all the time observing that little drip of drip of oil right there. And and I'm gonna snap the top up here on right now, and we'll, we'll see what we'll see what 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 looks like. Okay, it's just too much. So, see, I'm turning it down up here a little bit. It's still open all the way. I think it's four or five drops a minute, the way what the book says. So, you know, I'm going to leave it like that right there for a little bit. See, I got that piston uh, parked. Uh, or that oil hole comes down through there. So, you know, you know, it's all the drops. It's going down now that it's not running in a stationary position. It's puddling up in that, in the bottom of it down there. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to flip it off. We'll see what happens. And I've got locked in up uh, with that collar thing on that oil there. But if we flip it off, uh, And, and that sequence would be, I think, Well, you, you know, to confirm that, that we got a spark at the right time, uh, you, you know, it, 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 like with this type set up, you know, we're ready to go. So we, we can see, we, we can see that, that we've actually got a spark to the igniter with this, with this setup right here. Let's call it a timing light if you want to. But, but this, this is what happens. Every time it comes around, with a confirmation that you do have spark at the right time as a relationship to the keyway piston position. But Tennessee, the geographical center of something, Chomp Dog Sam. Hey, y'all, come on back. We got no spark on that Webster yet. I'm just saying. <laughs>